Cells working now on BBC Two. In half an hour, the hieroglyphics are presenting the contestants with more puzzles in Only Connect. Before that, University Challenge. University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Last time we saw Jesus College Cambridge win the first of two playoffs for four teams who are down but not out after their first round matches, losing with scores that might have seen them win in other fixtures. It's the second playoff tonight for the last place in the second round. The team from Durham University were defeated by the University of Edinburgh in their first round match, losing by 155 points to 190, a margin that perhaps belies the closeness of the contest, which was neck and neck until the final minutes. Rubik's Cube, the history of Poland and words in Malay were among their strengths on that first outing. Now, with an average age of 23, let's meet the Durham team again. Hello, I'm Thomas Brophy. I'm from Hatfield in Hertfordshire, and I'm studying mathematics. Hi, my name is Owen Stedder Matthews. I'm from Cardiff and I'm studying for an MSc in Defence, Development and Diplomacy. And here's their captain. Hello, my name's Cressida O'Connor. I'm from Harrogate in North Yorkshire and I'm reading law. Hello, my name is Nat Gyu. I'm originally from Jersey in the Channel Islands and I'm reading for a Masters in Arab World Studies. Now, the four from the School of Oriental and African Studies lost to Wolfson College, Cambridge, only on a tie-break question when their opponents were able to record an obscure fact about mollusks very slightly faster than they did. Their losing score of 175 is the joint highest among the four teams in these playoffs, and they were helped to it by quick thinking on Nobel Prize-winning economists Alexander the Great and women who've won Wimbledon with an average age of a sprightly 44. Let's meet the SOAS team again. Hello, I'm David Bostock from Cheltenham, and I'm reading for a Master's in Southeast Asian Studies. Hello, I'm Magda Biran Taylor, originally from Harrow, and I'm also reading for a Master's in Southeast Asian Studies. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Henry Edwards, I'm from London, and I'm reading for an MA in Near and Middle Eastern Studies. Hi, I'm Odette Shalaby. I'm from London and I'm also reading for an MA in Near and Middle Eastern Studies. OK, you all know the rules by now. Let's get on with it. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. The title of which 17th century work on political philosophy is found in Chapter 41 of the Book of Job, which describes... Durham Stenner Matthews. Leviathan. Leviathan by Hobbes, of course, is correct. <laughs> Your first bonuses, Durham, are on fictional characters. In each case, give the single name that links the following. Firstly, for five points, the central character in Umberto echoes the name of the Rose and a Devonshire family supposedly living under a curse in Conan Doyle's third Sherlock Holmes novel. Baskerville. Yes, yes, yes. Baskerville. Correct. Secondly, an opera singer in A Scandal in Bohemia, whom Holmes calls The Woman, and an American harmonica player for whom Vaughan Williams and Malcolm Arnold wrote compositions. Pass. It's Adler. And finally, the travelling companion of Sal Paradise in On the Road and a character described by Holmes as having hereditary tendencies of the most diabolical kind. Watson. No, he hasn't got diabolical tendencies. Moriarty. Oh. <laughs> Ten points for this. The Scottish goldsmith William Gedd is credited as the inventor in the 1720s of what form of cast metal plate that became widely used in mass printing. The same word also denotes a simplified set of characteristics assumed to typify a place or person. Uh, so as Edwards. Stereotype. Correct. Your first bonuses, so us, are on the paleontologist Mary Anning. 
Firstly, Mary Anning was born in 1799 in which town on the Dorset coast? In Jane Austen's Persuasion, it was the scene of Louisa Musgrove's fall. Any ideas? Um, what has the carpet? Lime Regis? Lime Regis. Lime Regis? Correct. At an early age, Anning excavated an almost complete skeleton of which extinct aquatic reptile? Its name combines the Greek for fish and lizard. Ichthyosaurus. Ichthyosaurus. Correct. And in 1824, Anning uncovered the first intact skeleton of which long-necked marine dinosaur? Diplodocus. Yes. Diplodocus. No, it's Plesiosaurus. Ten points for this. Folk Shemit, or People's Home, is a political concept associated with the wide-ranging social welfare system of which European country? From 1932 to 1976, the Social Democratic Party, or SAP... So as Postdoc. Sweden. Sweden is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on towers in European cities, so as. Named after the 12th century families believed to have commissioned them, Asinelli and Garisenda are twin leaning towers in which Italian city, the capital of Emilia Romana? Bologna. Correct. The Judgment Tower and the Water Tower are the remains of medieval city walls in which city on the River Drava? It's the second largest city of Slovenia. Maribor? Yes. Maribor? Uh, it's Maribor, yes, I'll accept that. And finally, now a World Heritage Site, Belem Tower was built in about 1515 near the location from which Vasco da Gama set sail to India and served as a defence for which port? Lisbon. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> what animal is this? Native to Africa and Asia, it's a primate within the same suborder as the lemurs and its species fall into two types, characterised as slow and slender. Ah. It's so has Biran Taylor. Loris. Loris is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on Roman history, so as. According to the opening words of a work by Julius Caesar, Belgica and Aquitania were two of the three subdivisions of which region? Gallia. Gallia, Gaul. Gaul is correct, yes. Meaning Gaul this side of the Alps. What name was given by the Romans to the region of Italy occupied by the Gauls? Cis, cis Alpine Gaul. Correct. And finally, what is the modern name of Lugdunum, the capital of Roman Gaul? It's now the capital of the Rhone Department. Lyon. Lyon is correct. Time for a picture round. For your picture starter, you're going to see a map. For ten points, I want the name of the region highlighted. Ah. So as Edwards. Peloponnese. Correct. <laughs> Following on from the Peloponnese, you're going to see three more maps with peninsulas highlighted. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly, the two-word name of this peninsula. That's the Baja California. Yeah. Baja California. Correct. Secondly, that's um, that's not Sakhalin. Sakhalin, no. That's an island. Yeah. Yamchatka. 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 No, it's Kamchatka. And finally, that's uh, Sinai. Sinai. Yeah. Sinai. Sinai is correct. Yes. Ten points for this. Described by David Starkey as a kind of licensed lynch law, the bond of association was drawn up by the Privy Council to protect which monarch from conspiracies? Cecil and Walsingham devised the bond in the... Durham O'Connor. Elizabeth I. Correct. <laughs> right, Durham, these bonuses are on chemical elements. All three are named after regions of the Earth's surface. Firstly... Predicted by Mendeleev in 1871 as the hypothetical Eka boron, which element was identified eight years later by two Swedish chemists and named after a large peninsula? Pass. It's scandium. Which element is the softest and least dense of the lanthanides and is used in the anti-counterfeiting phosphors of the banknotes of a major currency that dates to the 1990s? Yeah, go. Go. Yeah. 
Yttrium. It's Europium. Discovered in 1944 and named after a country or countries, which element appears below Europium in the periodic table? It's often used in smoke alarms. America. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for the starter question. Quote, I invented it because I needed something to replace the aliens and spacecraft part of science fiction. Which North American author said those words referring to his 1982 short story, Burning Chrome, and in particular to the first appearance of the term cyberspace? So I said what? William Gibson. Correct. Your bonuses, so us, are on pairs of words in which the final letters of the first word spell the start of the second. For example, garlic and licentious. In each case, give both words from the descriptions. Firstly, an artistic style originating in the Counter-Reformation and a blue cheese made from ewes milk and aged in caves near Toulouse. Baroque and Roquefort. Correct. Secondly, an art movement named after the French for rocking horse and a Roquefort-style cheese named after a Nordic country. It's not Rococo, is it? Mm. Oh, Chardin. What's the cheese? Swedish. 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 Yeah. I've got absolutely nothing no. to Pass. It's Dada and Danish Blue, or Dana Blue. And finally, a variant of Art Nouveau, named after a magazine founded in Munich, and a blue cheese named after a village in Huntingdonshire. Bauhaus? That's not Art Nouveau. Uh, um, Stilton. 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 Something ending in ST. Steel, steel, steel and top skills. Steel is, is those things in the end of a stimulus. Yeah. Steel and Stilton. Steel, so still. Yeah. Steel, so still. Yeah. Steel, so still. Nominate, nominate uh, Bostock. You can steal and Stilton. You can steal and Stilton is correct, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. In his 1920 work, The Economics of Welfare, which British economist discussed the concept of externalities? Ah. In a... So as Bostock. Pigou. Pigou is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on boundary demarcation lines, so as. A commission led by the British law lord Sir Cyril Radcliffe and composed entirely of legal rather than geographical experts delineated the boundary between which two countries that achieved independence in 1947? India and Pakistan. Correct. The McMahon line demarcates the current border between eastern India and China and was agreed between which two countries in 1914? Britain. Britain and... Britain and France. Should we say Britain and France? Yeah, okay. Britain. Britain and France? No, it wasn't. It was Great Britain and Tibet. And oh. finally, which two countries are separated by the Durand Line? It was established in 1893 and runs through tribal lands in the Hindu yeah. Kush. Afghanistan and Pakistan? Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Volhynia is a historical region that forms part of the territory of which present-day European country? In 1199, it was united into a powerful principality with Galicia, but was ah, devastated... So I said what? Ukraine. Ukraine is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on art in 1911. Blue Horse One and Yellow Cow are works of 1911 by which German artist? He was killed during the Battle of Verdun in 1916. Mac? Mm. Mac? No, it's Mark. Oh. Franz Mark. Both painted in about 1911, The Enigma of the Hour and The Nostalgia of the Infinite are works by which Italian metaphysical artist? De Chirico. Correct. Influenced by Cubism, Grey Tree is a 1911 work by which Dutch artist? He later developed a geometrical abstract style that he termed neoplasticism. Mondrian. Pete Mondrian is correct. We're going to take a music round. Your music started. You're going to hear a song from a 2001 Broadway musical. For ten points, I want the title of that musical. Durham Brophy. The producers. The producers is right, yes. It holds the record for the most number of Tony Awards, having won 12 in 2001. Your music bonuses are three songs from musicals that won the big six Tonys. The best musical, score, book, director, actor and actress. Five points for each musical you can name. Firstly for five. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair. I'm gonna South Pacific. Correct. Secondly. 
It's priest. Have a little priest. Is it really good? That is too good, at least. Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street is right, and finally. Hairspray. Hairspray is right, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. In Shakespeare's Hamlet, the line, thoughts black, hands apt, drugs fit and time agreeing, contains three consecutive examples of what metrical foot consisting of a pair of stressed or long syllables? So as Edwards. Spondy. Spondy is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on optical effects. In each case, identify the scientists after whom the following are named. Firstly, for five, after a 19th-century Austrian physicist, the effect by which the apparent frequency of light or another wave is altered as a result of relative motion between the source and the observer. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, nominate you. Nominate, uh, or just say, strobe. No, it's the Doppler effect or shift. Born in Ireland in 1820, which physicist gives his name to an effect describing the scattering of light through a medium containing small particles such as a colloid or smoke? Oh, where, in what country was he born Ireland. in Ireland? Tom? I'll just say Thompson. Thompson? 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 No, it's Tyndall. After an English physicist born in 1791, the effect by which the plane of polarisation is rotated when light travels through a medium in a magnetic field. Faraday? Yeah. Faraday? Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What are the only two distinct positive integers, x and y, that have the property that x to the power of y is equal to y to the power of x? Uh, so I shall be. One and two. Anyone like to buzz from Durham? You may not confer, one of you may buzz. Durham Gyu. X1, Y1. No, it's two and four. Ten points for this starter question. Answer as soon as your name is called. Take the US state of Washington, the states that border it, and the states that border those states. How many different US states does that give? Uh, so as Biren Taylor. Seven. Anyone like to buzz from Durham? Durham Stenner Matthews. Six. No, it's eight. Ten points for this. Alfred the Great, Elizabeth I, Mary Queen of Scots and Anne Boleyn are among the title characters of operas written in the 1820s and 30s by which Italian composer? Uh, so has Edwards. Rossini. Anyone like to buzz from Durham? Durham Brophy. Verdi. No, it's Donizetti. Ten points for this. A peephole to the ancient universe is a description of which image known by the abbreviation HDF? The image was... Durham Brophy. Hubble Deep Field. Hubble Deep Field is correct, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses, Durham, are on 17th century history. In each case, name the royal figure and the battle described. Firstly... Who landed at Garmouth in Moray in June 1650? His Scots army was defeated at a battle near the River Severn the following year. Uh, 17th century, so no, it would be Charles II coming back from exile at um, Worcester, I think, or Weasby. Yeah, Worcester. Charles II and Worcester? Correct. Who landed at Lyme Regis in Dorset in June 1685? He was defeated near Bridgewater in Somerset some weeks later. Uh, is it? Uh, yeah, Monmouth, Dick and Monmouth. And, um... Dick and Monmouth and... I don't know the battle. Sedgemoor, Civil War. Sedgemoor. Is that Civil War? I don't know. Try, OK, try. Dick and Monmouth, Sedgemoor. Duke of Monmouth and Sedgemoor? Correct. Who landed at Brixham in Devon in November 1688? In July 1690, he defeated James II near the Irish town of Drogheda. Uh, William III and the Battle of the Boyne. Correct. Ten points for this. Which two islands are linked by the Seikan Tunnel, a rail connection of more than 53 kilometres lying beneath the Tsugaru Strait in northern Japan? Durham O'Connor. Hokkaido and Osaka. 
No, anyone like to buzz from Soas? Soas Biran Taylor. Hokkaido and Honshu. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on a novel by Charles Dickens, Soas. Sowing, reaping, and garnering are the three parts of which novel by Charles Dickens set largely in northern England? Hard times. Yeah, Hard times. Correct. Now, what I want is facts. Teach these boys and girls nothing but facts. Who says these words at the start of hard times? Uh, grad grind. Correct. Satirised in hard times, which philosophy was advanced by Jeremy Bentham and others and promoted the idea of the greatest good for the greatest number? Uh, utilitarianism. Correct. We're going to take a second picture round. For your picture starter, you're going to see a lithograph. For ten points, I want you to identify the artist who created it. So as Biran Taylor. To lose the check? It is indeed, yes. <laughs> Following that advertisement for the Divin Japonais Cafe by Toulouse Le Trek, your picture bonuses are three more examples of the poster as art form. Again, I want the artists in each case. Firstly, for five. Who's that guy? Alphonse Mucha. <laughs> Alphonse Mucha. Correct. Secondly. Uh, El Vesitsky. Correct. And finally. Beardsley, Aubrey Beardsley. Aubrey Beardsley. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Which American lyricist won an Oscar for the screenplay of the 1951 film An American in Paris? His other film credits include Gigi and My Fair Lady, both of which were collaborations with Frederick Lowe. So as Edwards. Ira Berlin. No anyone like to buzz from Durham? Durham Brophy. Uh, Ira Gershwin. No, it's Alan J. Lerner. Ten points for this. In 1789, John Jay became the first holder of what office in the United States? More recent incumbents... Uh, so I shall be. Um, Supreme Court Justice. Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Chief Justice of the United States is the, is the actual yeah. formal title, but, yes, you've got the right person. So you get a set of bonuses this time... <laughs> ..on mountains in Asia, so as. 4,090 metres high, Aragats is the highest mountain of the Lesser Caucasus range and of which landlocked country? Landlocked. Uzbekistan? Uzbekistan. 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 It's not... Yeah. Uzbekistan. Did I say Caucasus? Yeah. It's not Caucasus if it's Central Asia. Should we say Georgia? Yeah. Georgia? No, it's Armenia. Oh. Almost 4,000 metres high, Yushan, or Jade Mountain, is the highest point of which island? Until 1945, it was the highest peak in the Japanese Empire, being around 300 metres higher than Mount Fuji. Taiwan? No, Japanese. Japan. But it could... Oh, it could Japanese Empire. So uh, could... yes. Yes, yes. Taiwan? Correct. About 4,100 metres high, Kinabalu in North Borneo is the highest mountain in which country? Indonesia. Indonesia. No, it's Malaysia. Ten points for this. Meaning oil press, what name does St Matthew's Gospel give to the garden at the foot of the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem, where Jesus... Darren Stenner Matthews. Gethsemane. Gethsemane is correct. <laughs> Your bonus is on the Holy Roman Empire. What two-word name is given to the agreement signed by the Emperor Charles IV at Nuremberg in 1356? It served as a constitution for the Holy Roman Empire and excluded the Pope from its political affairs. Come on, you yeah. can't afford to hang no. around. Munich Treaty. No, it's the Golden Bull. Which religious reformer appeared at the Diet of Worms in 1521? Martin, Martin Luther. In... Correct. In which German city were the 28 articles known as the Confession of the Lutheran Churches presented to the Emperor Charles V in 1530? Württemberg. No, it's Augsburg. Four and a half minutes ago, ten points for this. A process developed by the German chemist Wilhelm Ostwald Catalytic oxidation of ammonia is a means of manufacturing what common reagent? It's nitric acid. Ten points for this. In set expressions, what adjective may precede responsibility, unconscious, bargaining... Durham O'Connor. Social. No, you lose five points. Security and ownership, in each case, as the opposite of individual. So as Biran Taylor. Common. No, it's collective. Mm -hmm. Right, we're going to take another starter question. On display in the Galleria Borghese in Rome, a life-size sculpture of the 1620s by Gian Lorenzo Bernini depicts which god chasing the nymph ah. Daphne? So as Edwards. Apollo. 
Apollo is correct. You get a set of bonuses this time <laughs> on London Station, SOAS. Which London station is named after a region formerly known as Battlebridge? Its present name was adopted in the 19th century in recognition of a nearby statue of George IV. Um, Prince. Where's where? the Regents. 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 That's not station. Yes. Mm -hmm. station. Station. Um, Oxford Circus. No, no, no. Let's have it, please. Piccadilly Circus. Piccadilly Circus. No, I Piccadilly Circus. <laughs> no, it's King's Cross. <laughs> Which station on the Bakerloo line takes the first part of its two-word name from a battle of 1806 in southern Italy between Britain and France? Mm. Good Lord. Baker Street, Paddy. Made of Ale? No. Should we just say that? Yeah. Maida Vale? Maida Vale's correct. <laughs> which station on the district line shares its name with an early battle of the Civil War in which the King's advance mm -hmm. on London was blocked? Turnham Green. Correct. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called. What four-letter English word is formed by concatenating the symbols of the SI units of length, current, time and thermodynamic temperature? Durham Brophy. Mast. No, so ask one of you, Buzz. So it's Edwards. Mask. Mask is correct, yes. <laughs> uh, the one you got wrong, of course, was Kelvin at the, for the K. Right, your bonuses this time, so as, are on a US author. Which novel was described by its author as a prolonged insult, a kick in the pants to God, man, destiny, time, love, beauty? First published in 1934, its publication in the United States in 1961 resulted in a trial for obscenity. Is, did you say 1934? Yeah. He said it's a US author. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. That's not the leader, is it? No, it's yeah. not the leader. Um. Um. Come on, let's have it, please. Uh, we're going to pass on that one. It's Tropic of Cancer. Yeah. Tropic of Cancer and Black Spring are two of the novels in Henry Miller's Obelisk trilogy. What is the title of the final book in the series? I don't know. No. We didn't pass. It's Tropic of Capricorn. Oh, <laughs> and finally, the 2015 Penguin Modern Classics editions of Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn feature covers designed by which British artist? Um, oh. Say an artist. Should we say Bacon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Francis Bacon. No, it's Tracy Emin. Yeah. Ten points for this. Answer in Latin or in English. Underum, nubium and austral are all examples of what lunar features? Other examples include imbrium and tranquillitatis. <laughs> Durham O'Connor. Eclipses. No, anyone like to buzz from... So as for Ann Taylor. Moon, uh, seas on the moon. They are seas or maria, yes. <laughs> Dan, you're going to lose five points for that, too. Right, you get a set of bonuses, so as on molecular biology. Known by the initials PCR, what technique is capable of replicating a fragment of DNA many million times? Uh... Calibration ratio, something calibrated ratio. Perceptive. Perceptive. Perceptive calibrated ratio. No, it's polymerase chain reaction. <laughs> Used in PCR, what common enzyme is isolated from the bacterium Thermus aquaticus? Ligase? I don't know. <laughs> Down have 85, and the School of Oriental and African Studies have 270. Well, the questions were a bit harder. They do get harder as the contest goes on, Durham. And, but you weren't really on the form you were on last time when you were storming away. But uh, we're going to have to say goodbye to you, but thank you very much for joining us. So, as you were on terrific, cracking form, a storming <laughs> performance from you. We shall look forward to seeing you in the next stage of the contest. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you can join us next time for the start of the second-round matches, but until then, it's goodbye from Durham University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from the School of Oriental and African Studies. Bye. 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 And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>Tom Sutcliffe returns with the round Britain quiz, starting with Wales v Scotland. Catch up on the first episode on the Radio 4 website. And here on BBC Two Next, more chances to shout answers at the TV. Victoria Corin Mitchell is here with Only Connect. Then at nine, we head back to the 1890s and the aftermath of the economic depression in the Victorian slum.